Yeah, so soon after the game, the, the first 48 hours all about recuperation and recovery, um, getting back into a sort of physical shape to actually train hard again and improve fitness and improve uh, agility, speed and quickness. Um, so if it's a Friday game, it would be the first 48 hours after that. If it's a Saturday game, obviously the, the, the window moves forward. Yeah. You're going to give a yellow card for that. Yeah. The probability is it's not on for a penalty try. He's actually in good touch. Okay. Preparation these days, um, we've stepped it up as referees. We, we, we're the first ones to acknowledge that we're human beings and we make mistakes and uh, provide that we make human error, but we've got to limit those in a high-performance environment. So a typical week would be uh, the Monday would be all about the weekend that has been, so the, the post-match um, dissection of the game. Again, isolate which areas of the game went well, um, which areas of the game needs attention, um, maybe some technical stuff at scrum or line up more, maybe a fine-tuning and positioning, uh, maybe just a picture change where you've got to adjust. So you've got to isolate those things and make sure that you're on top of what happened the previous week and what needs to be fixed. Um, so once we've established the recovery window and, and you're all fresh again, um, we move into a, a, a midsection of the week where you actually can work at your speed, agility, quickness, and you know even lifting the intensity to uh, be in tip-top shape come this weekend. Um, there's a good balance to it, overtraining, undertraining. So we get specialist people to actually uh, lead us in those uh, elements, as it is a specialist field. And we have a lot of GPS uh, stats and analysis from the games that we use to actually simulate during the week's training. So you actually train to be, to be a better referee on the field and not be fit at something else. So plenty, plenty of play happening. The yeah, so once we've dissected the previous match and understand where you need to fix what uh, personally, we move on to the, to the next challenge. And you've got to understand the teams that you're refereeing. So we've got a great platform uh, on the AMS system. It's called Toolbox. It's referee specific. And we have the ability to go on to Team A and to Team B's specifics of the weekend. So you'd probably work through set piece first because that starts the game. All their set sort of plays from kickoffs to scrums and lineouts. And, understand how this team gets the ball back in play. We, where's, what's their mode of attack and where, where, where would they be, would be most likely attacking. Um, once you understand the set piece, you probably get the ball back in play and then you've got to understand how these teams compete in general play and kicking games. So every team's got a different character. Um, and without over-analyzing and, and, and pre being preconceived, you've got, the better you understand the teams, the better you find your way to fit into the game and actually make a contribution to the game instead of playing catch up to the game or over controlling the game. So, travel, we travel quite a bit in this uh, competition, especially, which gives it a, a different character and makes it wonderful too. Is we, we've got to travel across uh, time zones and, and, you know, across the Indian Ocean at times. and. It, it's extensive travel. Um, if you travel across more than four time zones, we are expected to be in the, in the uh, country of, of where the game is played by the Tuesday. So it's all part of being high performance and being game ready come the game day. So you're physically, mentally, everything adjusted and ready for a good performance. Um, short all, most of us would arrive the evening before the game. Uh, just to set you up for you know travel delays and those sort of things that puts extra pressure on the game. Again, it's a high performance environment. The teams deserve it. So we be ready, game ready, good to go. Um, so we'd arrive the, the evening before the game and, and sort of be out on, on the first or second flight the next day, um, back into your procedures of recovery and those sort of things. <laughs>